So when the cold weather hits the UK, there's only one thing to do. That's jump on a plane and take a short flight to Malaga. So a short drive down the Andalusian coastline and I am in the San Roque region of southern Spain to visit a golf course that looks quite spectacular. La Hacienda Lynx Golf Course offers up two courses in fact and I will be playing both in the coming days but I'm going to kick things off with a man versus golf hole challenge on this course which is the Lynx and three truly spectacular golf holes. Right so as well as the challenge I will also be telling you the clubs I use and a quick chat about them because each one of them apart from the irons is likely to be from the brand new 2023 lineups. Well, man versus golf hole challenge a quick reminder three holes me versus the stroke index on the card. The first two holes count for a single point and the final hole is worth three. So either way, we'll be going down to the wire. Right, so we're gonna kick things off on the 11th hole here. It's 323 meters. I'll discuss what I'm looking at very shortly. The club we're gonna use is the new driver from Stealth 2 lineup. It's the standard product, nine degree head. How will it perform when it matters? Come on, and Right, so we've got to break this down into two shots because the first element is ensuring we get the right place on the fairway. You're looking at a rather large bunker, which is covering the left-hand side, and then down the right-hand side, the tighter you go, then you've got that tree line, and obviously over the other side of that, your ball is gone. So important to get the right position. All important when you see what's faced in terms of the second shot. So our line is gonna be, inside right of the bunker and see if we get a bit of a cut and a fade and get one chasing as close to that hole as possible. Well that's got the shape and that's going to bounce and kick on I think. Do you know what that's our kind of shortest route to the hole. The one thing I like about stealth lineup or I think perhaps this shaft which you all know about is I've got a bit of control over that club head and to be able to hit that real cut round the corner is, uh, well, it's all about confidence first and foremost. So I'm really pleased we executed that. I think what they've done again really good is the sort of sound and feel off carbon wood face. Love it or hate it, I sit in the love camp and uh, that felt superb. That's a good start. Right, okay, so we've got 170 yards in. That's not bad in itself. Um, first of all, the backdrop is unreal. But what you'll notice here is you go left hand side of this green, you've got a big runoff at the front of it and everything's feeding into that left hand bunker. You've obviously got on this line we're protected or the flag is protected by that bunker on the right hand side. The pin position right now is at the back of the green, which means as well we can't go long because you'll see there's quite a severe slope at that back side and long your pretty much ball has gone. So I'm gonna play a sort of 160 shot left of flag almost on the sort of lighthouse line. And if I land in the front half of the green, I think I'll take that. I certainly don't wanna be long, but it's important to try and keep this thing straight. This may be a mistake, cause I'm gonna go with the five hybrid from the G430. The main reason I'm going for it is cause I'm confident with it, but it's also potentially a little bit long. So this is gonna be half a swing and maybe just choke down a little bit. And uh, the wind is off the left, by the way. So yeah, we're gonna be aiming at the lighthouse. Come on, keep it smooth. Oh, that's really good. I just hope it's not too long. Sit down now, ball. Oh, he's played it long again. I cannot believe it. It was too good of a strike and it's gone. Pitched on the back end and has just rolled off the back. I just hope that that stayed in play because like I said, it's quite severe of a backdrop. Ah, oh, right, good news is we haven't gone in the bushes down there. Bad news is this is quite heavy, but then I suppose it has stopped me from going in those bushes. Um, but yeah, it's sort of growing against me, the grain. We need to pop this one up as soft as possible. Sit down. Sit down. Do you know what? I'm surprised. I thought that was going to grab a little bit. It's kicked off the slope and we've left a bit to do to make par. The point I should mention is this is stroke index eight. And don't forget man versus golf is me against the card. So I do get a shot. That means I've got that still for the win. Well, no wonder it didn't uh, stop any quicker because the slope into the hole is, uh, well, Fairly severe, to be honest with you. It's one tough golf hole. 
and this is stroke index eight. Now it looks to me as though again it's going to feed off that left hand side but it's just that pace as well I don't want to be going racing this by. Come on roll out ball you haven't hit it and you haven't hit it too scared I had the line as well just really scared of the pace of that one. Oh, so it's a five and it's a half well more importantly just how good is that of a golf hole the second shot played into that green uh, which is almost on the horizon an infinity green if you like it's just so nice but all in and around it also is so difficult in terms of getting that ball in the hole which clearly I demonstrated Right, okay, we don't need to go any further than the 12th hole next up because this one again is stunning. Uh, it's a par three. I've got it from here at 190 yards and it is in fact stroke index four and hopefully you can see why. Right, so what difficulties await? Well, quite obviously we've got some water to carry. That's going to cause a few problems. Um, secondly, we've got 196 yards to uh, cover to get to that flag. But then when you get to the green itself and what's good about the design of this golf course full stop is in and around the greens are so so difficult or well designed because the runoff to the left is quite severe and obviously there's a bunker left as well you go off to the right of that flag and again you've got quite a severe runoff anything short is coming back into the water and you guessed it you go long and you've got a runoff so the only choice is really is to hit the green so we're going with the Mizuno the new STZ hybrid 21 degrees I really love this thing I'll love it even more if it hits this green I'll work out a line it's not easy um, we're gonna have to go towards the bunker with a bit of cut I think is the idea Oh, and this could be absolutely bang on if the yardage is good look at that ball flight sit on the flag sit on the flag oh my word I think that's probably the best shot I've hit in the two days so far that we've been here felt so so good I mentioned in an earlier video about just how good these new Mizuno hybrid sound and feel launch is superb I've added a couple of degrees to that and uh, this ST230 series with their new chamber of secrets added is a superb addition to Mizuno's lineup these really need trying but obviously I'm more excited than usual because I've just hit one of the best shots I've hit for quite some time right well first of all it is really good to hit a good golf shot on a good golf hole it makes it that little bit more special but we've still got a bit of work to do because there's a break here but there's also pace to be concerned about because this one is front to back and uh, will definitely be quicker than that previous hole right set it out wide enough and not too firm now turn now turn now turn oh my word that would have been the perfect golf hole because I really felt as though I had that on the break there well, I nearly pushed that and missed again but anyway we make a three which with a shot received means that I am now one up on the golf course but as we know that means nothing because the last hole is worth triple points right on we go now I don't know whether I'm a glutton for punishment but we're gonna just carry this one on the final hole is gonna be the 13th it's stroke index 2 um, and again I played this hole yesterday from playing this tee box which is very much off the back then it plays quite long but the main issue is when we get over the brow you'll see that the green is uh, it's wide but it's narrow and uh, there are some severe runoffs and there's a lot of trouble in front of the green as well but we'll worry about that when we get there because first of all we've got to get a tee shot out of the way and I'm going to go obviously with driver now that should kick again into that right hand side quite happy with that to be honest with you again just that bit of control that I get from this shaft I think more than anything I certainly didn't want to be drifting on uh, right onto the beach and there's a strong wind that you can't feel but trust me it's into my back so anything sort of center and floaty and uh, it's a bit risky so I think we haven't got a bad line in from where we're gonna get but come and join me over the brow and see what this second shot looks like because it's a scary one well first of all the drivers really run on on the second half of the hill and I'm this is 
well, we got 102 in, couldn't ask for any more in terms of the position. And it's not a bad angle, all things considered. But what you're looking at right now is uh, just how narrow, first of all, the green is. So there's not a lot of room front or back. And then once again, key feature of this golf course is the runoffs and swales. And trying to emulate that Lynx feel, I suppose, because that's what they've achieved really well. Really severe off to the left-hand side. And there's a ridge in the middle of the green, which means if you hit it to the right-hand side, the chances are your ball is swinging way off to the right and a very difficult up and down. But I'm glad to say we've only got 102 in because yesterday I played it, I was playing seven iron in and now I've got wedge. Right, if we can get it on the, well, I'm gonna see if we can get it on the dance floor. We should have enough to take this one. Right, it's on that ridge I talked about and I think it's gonna kick. Look at this now. Oh my word, look at it swing off to the right hand side. <laughs> Oh my word, I mean I forgot about that wind off the left and it just drifted only a tad but I knew when I was going to hit that ridge there was only one way that ball was going and uh, once again when we get down there now and you see this port it literally goes up the ridge down the other side like an absolute roller coaster. I told you or you'll see very shortly I'm not sure if we can pick it up on camera this is so high in terms of that rise and we pitched right on it and it scooted down here so I've got to get the weight well, I've got to get it enough to get up the hill, but not too much that it uh, runs away over the other side. Get up, ball. Now release down. Now release down. I expected that to be a little bit quicker, you know. I've got a slippery one, but as I make it, I won the previous hole, so I've still got two for the half on this, which would give me the overall win. I'm surprised this came short, but I cannot tell you how severe that hill is to climb up. I'm not sure we can quite pick it up on camera. Right, it's a two-put, but we've still got to make the two-put because there's a swing on this. Now swing, now swing. Right, that was definitely a, uh, well, what we like to call a bit of a dolly because I left that one, uh, I was never going to race that one by because, as you know, two is enough for a par five which nets down to a four, so my win on the par three gives me that overall victory against La Hacienda. Some interesting clubs used, the driver did me well as ever, or maybe the stability of that shaft, that pink hybrid was certainly the highlight of the day in terms of the shot I hit there. And um, the two clubs combined really did an half decent job, just, but how good is La Hacienda Lynx? It's a super golf course, and I'll be filming another few of these challenges in the next few days to show you a little bit more, both from the Lynx course and over the other side, which is the Heathland. Right, as ever, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our little man versus golf hole challenge with a couple of new products out of the 2023 lineups. That's a win. I'm off to get some lunch and then back out for another challenge on that Heathland course. See you soon.